A monastery in India's Shimla is helping Tibetan monks learn Buddhist teachings, but the journey is long and demanding. They must spend nine years learning the ropes of Buddhism. They also get classes in computer science, English, and mathematics. In 1950, Tibetan Buddhists were driven out of their homeland. A ruthless China tried to dismantle their centuries-old culture. But they failed. Tibetan Buddhism may have lost its home, but not its heart. The culture continues to thrive in monasteries like this one in India's Shimla. Welcome to the Dorje Drak Monastery. Here they teach the Nyingma school of Tibetan Buddhism. Exiled monks from different countries come here to learn Tibetan Buddhism, to reconnect with their roots. I've come here in Himachal Pradesh and I'm studying to preserve the teachings of Buddhism. I've been practicing here for the last three years. Tibetan Buddhism has four main schools, Sakya, Kagyu, Gelug and Nyingma. This monastery is the leading center of the Nyingma school. Young Lamas come here eager to learn. They leave as masters of Tibetan Buddhism. But the journey isn't easy. The degree course here is nine years long. During this time, the monks learn Buddhist verses. They memorize scriptures and adapt to Buddhist practices. But the teachers want to prepare the young monks for the outside world, not just through religion, but overall knowledge. So subjects like maths and computer science are also taught. As you know, in the 21st century, the world has changed. And with the changing world, monks should also learn modern technologies, receive a modern education, learn science and English languages, as these are important for monks. There is a sense of brotherhood at this monastery. The monks study together, they help each other with lessons, and through them the Tibetan culture lives on, undaunted by the crackdown on their homeland. South Asia Bureau, we on, the world is one.